Hello everyone, in this video we are going to go from one screen to another one and pass data, this using footer. A starting project, I have the project that comes when you start a new project in footer. It's a counter, you press the floating action button and a label is updated with the the number of clicks. Now I'm going to create a new file, uh, call it second screen, import here the material dot dart and create a stateless widget. We can remove the container and put uh, scaffold here put a body now and as a child now I will just put a text as a placeholder go back to the main dot dart put here the the elevated button on press I will put it later I will leave it empty for now just to be active this button and the as a child a text the text I'm going to put it go to another screen okay you can see it's working but we don't have a click list name now we can put the click list name to go to the other screen to do that you have several options but uh, in this one I'm going to use the push and uh, I will in the future uh, create a video about the naming routes so if you don't want to miss it please don't forget to subscribe and now in builder put the context the context is the one we take as an argument for this build and return the second screen and see how it looks now if you go to the other screen if you click it goes to the other screen but we are still not passing the the date let's do that now Here, put the the parameter we want to receive. In this case, is a string, and I'm going to call it num. Add the constructor to the screen. The shell. Now I can change it to the uh, colon, and put there main. Uh, axis alignment center and child text with the num and a button to go back I'm going to use single quotes because it's the recommended way in Dart. So I'm going to change here as well. And the text is go back. Yeah. 
this must be uppercase and let's change the own press now I'm going to put navigated.pop to go back to the previous screen and pass the context change this to single quotes first you don't need to change it to single code, but it is a commanded way in Dart. Okay, and now we can run and check. Call start. As you can see, we can click this button and it updates and we can go to the other screen and see here the value. Thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you in the next one.